Welcome back to the channel guys. This is Slight. Today we're going to be looking at the Valiant from LS2. Okay, so this is a modular helmet. For myself, I'm not really a fan of modulars, but I do understand the purpose. Like my wife actually has a modular helmet. Again, to each your own, right? So I'm going to kind of go through what I see, what I like, what I dislike, and then I'm going to hand it over to Mario, which is actually the owner of this helmet. And he absolutely loves modulars, and this is his second modular helmet. Did you have an LS2 before? What one did you have before? He had the HJC helmet before, modular. Okay, so with every modular, you're obviously gonna have the modular section of it. So there's a little switch at the bottom here. You're gonna lift that up and that will lift everything up. And this one will come up to the side. So that's almost like a spoiler, right? It's almost kind of like a spoiler, kind of like my Rurag. So then you can still put that down. You have your shades, right? So. That's actually very easy to use. I like that. BTS2 is his uh, audio setup, and uh, obviously it comes out from the front. It has like a uh, reflective, so you can see it when you throw your helmet off. That makes no sense. The helmets I use use the Fidlock. This one is using the ratchet strap kind of thing. And then you just lift that off and it's pretty simple. Very easy. You have a lot of air deflections, right? Which is nice. I don't have that on mine. Multiple slits through the front here. The weight for a modular, it's actually not too bad. It's not light by any means, but uh, it is DOT and it's also ECE certified, so that's actually pretty good. So to flip this back, you're gonna be pushing this up and then down. <laughs> I just noticed that. So if you have this down, if you push this up, it actually moves this up. It's probably clearance, mm -hmm. then down, cool. So yeah, it has like kind of like a gearing and stuff like that in here that's kind of neat because when you lift this up, it actually moves the shield up and as you move that completely all the way to the back, it kind of keeps out of your way. Also, another thing I like about it is when you come back, it actually ratchets this back up to be able to do it. So again, clearance, right? It's actually pretty nice. Again, venting at the back, right? Lots of venting in the back. The, uh, the padding looks pretty decent. It's not too bad. Has uh, some wind deflector and stuff here. Also your chin curtain. Not every helmet has that, but if you're trying to grab audio by any means, this is key. Because I don't know much about this helmet, I'm gonna transfer it over to Mario, so. So everyone has a modular out there, but there's two helmet manufacturers that make modulars that are unique to the rest, uh, and I'll explain to them. One is Shark with their Evo line, and LS2 with their Valiant line. Now this is the LS2 Valiant 2, so the second generation. There is also a Valiant X that's recently come out, but it's not available in North America. Ergo, I went with the Valiant 2. And in this case, the difference between these particular two manufacturers, the Shark uh, Evo and the uh, LS2 Valiant, and your other modular helmets is the uh, flip-up portion of this. So in this case, you'll notice that, yes, the visor goes out of the way, but most modular helmets stop here. And what happens is you'll get a wind effect where it'll cause like a little bit of weight to your neck where this particular helmet and the shark evo as i mentioned goes all the way to the back so you do not get that resistance and you get that flow and the ls2 valiant 2 and the shark evo are both dot and ece certified at the open position and at the full closed position where the other helmets that you'll notice that stop here are not they're only designed to be used modular if you're stopped at a light or you know grabbing a drink somewhere and you're not moving where this one is certified to be ridden both open and closed so that's a very important thing to note if if it's something that you want to use it for airflow i do use it so usually when i'm going like slower speeds or anything under 80 kilometers an hour us here in canada i do ride in this configuration it gives me a bit more airflow and it's great for riding but once i start to go on a highway where there's 100 120 uh yes i do go 120 slight as he's looking at me going when do you go 120 i uh do tend to like it more closed because it, it does make it more quieter at higher speeds and then um you know a little bit more comfortable with the wind flow uh, which is great. Yes, it is heavier, as uh, Slight mentioned, because of the mechanics. And is it louder than a full face? For sure it is, because again, with the mechanics, you're gonna get some airflow. But having only ridden with modulars in the past, I find this one quieter than the years before. Uh, and as far as weight is concerned, I'm a pretty small guy. That's what she said. <laughs> 
it does not bother me even if I'm turning my head it does not feel like there's wind resistance where it's taken it I find it very comfortable now in this particular color it's all glossy black I did a bit of a mod I added a sticker to the top here and a couple of stickers that I've cut out so it matches here it kind of looks like it's made for it it took me some time to do it but these are reflective so if a headlight hits it it, it kind of makes it um, glow in the dark otherwise uh, it is as is from factory so I'm not sure if the LS2 uh, glows in the dark I don't think so but these stickers that I got with the link uh, we'll post below you can actually add these stickers and it makes it a bit more reflective but there are different other different designs out there with more coloring and stuff but I kind of like the black it kind of goes with everything but yeah, that, that's the main thing that I wanted to point out was the fact that it does go all the way to the back and therefore it doesn't create that wind resistance that your normal modular helmets would go. So that's why, you know, I, I picked this particular model. When it blocks you here, it kind of is annoying, but when it's back here, you don't even notice. And yeah, I guess it does kind of create a better airflow. Okay, so like I said, also just to reiterate the fact that it does have pin lock. Pin lock is actually key if you're riding in any humid areas or even in the rain. It does fog up the shield pretty good if you don't have that. I have it on my Rurock as well. Again, to each their own, right? I, I like all kinds of different companies. It really doesn't matter to me what you ride as long as you like it. As far as Mario is concerned, he, he really enjoys that helmet, so everything's good. Okay, so it also does come with a helmet bag as well as a purse, a helmet purse. A backpack. Okay, a backpack. Will fit your helmet inside of it yeah. as well. Well, here, I'll have to explain it because it's camouflage, so you can't see it. There is a bag there, if you can't see it. Oh, uh, it's, it's a camouflage response. Well, like Predator. Exactly, although I can only do it while I'm holding my breath. But you can do it anytime you want. Anytime. <laughs> but, like, here, maybe we'll do this. Okay, now you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, he's going to give me a hard time because of the fact that I'm making fun of his <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, it, it comes with a helmet bag as well. So that's a pretty sick thing. Not many helmets actually come with that type of stuff. Most helmets come with just this type of bag, right? Like uh, the Rurock that I have, every Rurock I've got was uh, that. Even my Bell helmets were like that as well. So the bags are normal key. Having the backpack is actually pretty decent. That's a, a pretty nice uh, thing they put onto that. Okay, if you do like this channel, if you like this content, give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Until next time, guys.